Hey, data engineers, big news just dropped in the world of data engineering. The DP203 Azure Data Engineer Certificate is being retired at the end of March. So for those of you that may be working towards your Azure Data Engineer Certificate, it might be time to switch gears just a little bit. I'm going to tell you more about that and let's get into it. All right, first things first, the DP203, you know, there's a certification that many of us know and love as the Azure Data Engineers Associate Certificate. It is retiring at the end of March on March 31st, 2025. Microsoft is recommending that you pivot now to the DP700, which is the Fabric Data Engineer exam as its new successor. So for those of you that have been studying hard for your Azure Data Engineer Certificate, I am incredibly sorry. Microsoft just kind of sprung this on us here in the last few days. So I want to get this news out just as soon as I can to our community. So while DP203 is headed off into the sunset into for a well-earned retirement in the Azure Hall of Fame, DP700 is here to step up and take its place to help you to tackle the future of data engineering. So. What does that mean for you going forward? How do you prepare for that DP700? Let's get into that. All right, let's break it down real quick. The DP203 was all about building pipelines, managing data, and optimizing storage solutions in Azure, really relying heavily on Synapse uh, and a little bit of Data Factory, right? And so, it's really focused heavy on the core data engineering tasks that we've all come to expect. Now, the DP700, on the other hand, really shifts its focus to, again, Azure Fabric. So we're moving from using Synapse to using Fabric. And here, this is where it's focused on learning how to build end-to-end -end workflows in Fabric, optimize that data storage across the One Lake ecosystem, and seamlessly integrate all that into Power BI solutions. So. In addition, we're also looking at leveraging new tools like the Gen 2 data workflows, data flows, and some of our Synapse real-time analytics that is really comparable to Kafka, right? It's less stand less about standalone pipelines and more about mastering Fabric's unified ecosystem to have everything all in one place. So what does this mean for you as you're studying and preparing for these exams? If you're already certified as with the DP203 exam, congrats. That cert still holds a lot of value, especially business value, because businesses are not all ready to jump into Fabric. That certification, you know, is really shows your employers that your skills and the foundation of data engineering is something that you already have and have been able to demonstrate. Now, if you're planning to take the DP203 and haven't completed it yet, you have a couple of different options. You can either hurry up and take it before the, uh, before the end of March, right? Or you could go ahead and shift your focus to TP DP700. If you're just starting out, I definitely recommend just jumping right into the DP700 just to make sure that you're future-proofing your skills. So the DP700 exam is Azure's way of really preparing us as data engineers for the future going forward and working in the Azure ecosystem. It's really the logical next step. What is your take on what this looks like? What do you think about Azure's shift in the certification process? Are you excited about the new move to Fabric? Or do you feel like they're really leaving a lot of key areas behind by moving away from the Synapse and the Azure Data Engineer Associate Cert? <clears throat> Let me know down in the comments. And if you've already been diving into Fabric, I'd love to hear the things that you have seen in Fabric that you really love that really is a change from using Synapse and Data Factory and the previous uh, suite of tools. Um, <clears throat> So to wrap up, the DP203 exam is retiring, but the new era is getting ready to start. The DP700 with Azure Fabric really is what the future is moving towards. This is your chance to stay ahead of that curve and master Azure Data Factory and Azure Fabric. In the video, I hope this video has really helped you to make sense of where we're going and where we've been and where we're going and 
If you've enjoyed this video and it gave you some insight, be sure to like and subscribe for all of our future data engineering content. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.